125 years ago. Great minds came together with the aim to nurture and inspire other great minds. All because they felt as if they couldn't be confined or constrained to what they knew was lame. They didn't just get in the game. They came with a franchise of disenfranchised young women and men that to me were all stars. 107 star students and their nine star teachers in a rickety wooden structure that was Morris Brown anew. Ironically, what we once thought was many, we now think of as just a few. This school was built on the foundation of faith, determination, and diligence, on the strength of a nonviolent nation that's still mentally militant. This was just a little after old Honest Abe supposedly set us free. On the corner of Boulevard in Houston, a Negro could get a degree. When they built this institution, they made history, that's no mystery. Now it's time to preserve and protect what's been built. We can't let black college die and say we feel no guilt. Are we a nation or not? Accreditation or not? You might think it's not much, but education's a lot. In a time where brains reign supreme over brawn, if you wish to remain free, you best to get you one. And hey, if you can get it at a school like Mo Brown, that might be more better. You might be more down. Like Hosea Williams, and Roosevelt Blackman. You can feed the hungry and teach kids to give back when you learn what you need and make your mark upon the world. You can be an athlete or police chief, whether born a boy or a girl. I know what you're thinking. Ain't that school shut down? Man, cats still graduating. The school's still around. Teachers still teach. The students still learn. The heart still beats within, the fire still burns. The doors haven't closed yet, though attendance is down. Some students still believe in the strength of Mo Brown. No government grants, no loans and no help. Just pride in one's history and doing it yourself. Now they've gone full circle, cause that's the principle the school was built on. Why settle for one room when you can have your own home? In the last 25 years, 10% of all black universities have closed their doors. Only one has ever regained accreditation after losing it. We need to care about our schools and care about our youth, or no one else will.